There's a 25. Come on. Fuck the DA. Fuck the DA. No, stop. 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 Outbursts in court from the family of Michelle Barrientes Vela as the convicted felon learns her fate this afternoon. Three years after being indicted for public corruption and more than four months after she was convicted of tampering with records, the ex-constable was sentenced to both prison and jail time. Dylan Collier breaks it all down for us. It was only fitting that the snarkiness that defined much of Michelle Barrientes Vela's trial was on full display during the final moments of her sentencing. Again, that's a compound question. You're asking two different things. On the, on the first, I, I'm not objecting. Precinct 2 Judge Roberto Vasquez, who shared a building with the ex-constable, was the final witness. He described Barrientes Vela as all over the place, engaging in conversations that were nonsensical. It would continue a pattern, even from her own defense, of characterizing the former public official as being in over her head, not fit for the job of leading a law enforcement agency. The pitchforks are out because they feel like she needed to be knocked down a peg. And she has been. She has been humbled. She has been humiliated. She has now been convicted. The prosecution concluded its closing remarks by asking for a six-year prison sentence. I have the words public corruption and Michelle Bella up there. This was a public corruption trial. We presented evidence of public corruption. We presented evidence of public corruption within the punishment phase. Those words are now synonymous. After examining the evidence one final time during lunch, Judge Velia Mesa handed down a sentence of five years probation, 90 days in jail, and 600 hours of community service. Barrientes Vela, who now works at her husband's used car dealership, can never work as a peace officer in the state of Texas again. We're satisfied and happy in the sense that with the verdict as it was, the only thing that um, the, the best outcome for us would be probation. And it should be noted that District Attorney Joe Gonzalez was in the courtroom and just feet away as one of her sons lunged towards the front of that courtroom. Barrientes Vela's attorneys have called this a tainted verdict and think she has a pretty good shot of getting the convictions overturned on appeal. She can remain free and does not have to serve that 90-day sentence while that appeal is ongoing. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.